Hey everyone, Christopher Beast here. And it's been over five months since Signalis Rowe. So you wouldn't be wrong in assuming that we have kind of found everything in the code that could possibly be found. And I was honestly of that category of thought myself. Until last night, when I was randomly picking through the code, I just so happened to find an entire cutscene that was previously unfound. And there's lots of interesting things with it, lots of connected files that we've already found, but the most interesting thing of it is a seemingly first person bit that I'll get to later. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this video. Let's start off quickly by reviewing what it is exactly that I found. So if you know anything about the fake out ending, you would know that through asset ripping in the past, we found tons of files related to it in various developmental stages. That is what this is. It is a bunch of old files for a previous idea of what the fake out ending looked like. And included in those files, which is something I'm not sure anyone has ever looked in, is an entire seemingly FPS section that takes place on a weird little tower. Again, I'll get back to that. For the moment, let's look at what's the other files around this in this old fake out ending. Of course, we have those old scenes, those old PNGs that we've seen for quite some time now of the old fake out ending. And these are basically concept arts that were put in as placeholders for original ideas that later on got fleshed out in the live builds. And these of seeing them in order, seeing them as they're set up. We've kind of already understood how this all works. It's just nice to be able to look at it again. But the other interesting thing that to bring up here is that there is a bunch of concepts and sketches and cameras set up for a lot of the rendered scenes within the fake out ending as well. We're talking, you know, Ellie walking through eternity or Ellie walking towards the Penrose or Elena turning around. Lots of this is rendered, set up and ready, you know, including the meat scene that occurs during the fake out ending. Uh, there's even a built-in part where you seemingly returned to the Penrose during the fake-out ending and had a very short little segment there that currently does not exist in the current fake-out ending. The reasons for these changes, honestly, with all of them, must be down to optimization and refinement of the craft. A bunch of these renders that were removed, honestly, aren't necessary and have lots of files within them that I can understand why they got rid of them. Other files as I said, are concept arts. So they had to be removed, they had to be replaced with newer versions. Why was it left in the Xbox Game Pass version of the code? Most likely Yuri and Babs didn't want to delete files from the version when they were working on it in the 1.0 patch. And most likely they just moved them out of the way as they worked on it and got each new file. And then later on, when they published it to the Steam version, which we know occurs a little bit later, they realized they could optimize the files in this way by deleting this chunk of files so it's not in the game currently. This is kind of like what happened with the new Sparrow update that hit Steam, where they deleted a bunch of files and a bunch of debug stuff that honestly wasn't necessary in the game, and they could do it because they've had time to look at optimization, look at how things run, and then double back and clean it all up from the moment of now. So with all that context out of the way, and we've got everything out, you know, every, all the side bits, all the little random pieces of information. I'm now going to talk about the FPS segment. This is likely the part of the video you're most looking forward to, so I'm sorry for putting so much stuff before it. I just had to make sure I covered that to give a context to this. So this is a clump of game objects, rendered scenes, that is stuck in the middle of this fake out ending that clearly wasn't used. It's in this old file, and it isn't in newer versions or iterations. It includes a big scene where you see the Statue of Folk, you see some rot front uh, you know, signal towers, you have this dark red lighting, you have you know, snow, wind. It's completely set up. Uh, the reason I say it's a first person segment is that there are colliders and collision completely set up uh, to work in this scene, which is what you would see in a first person segment uh, rather than any other segment, which seems to suggest that at one point you would have played in this. I don't know how exactly it would have worked, but I'm now going to just let some of the footage play, showing off what this looks like from a Unity camera. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I honestly think this is one of the bigger finds of my entire time messing around inside Signalis' code and modding and all that, and I was really happy when I found it, and I really like how this FPS segment looks. 
I understand why Yuri and Babs decided to get rid of it. It's very much, at least in my interpretations and the people I've been talking to, seems to be something that would have detracted from the real purpose of the game, which is, you know, talking about Alistair and Arion's love, having this giant scene about, you know, folk and the Empress and Rotfront. Honestly, it would have not really helped that story, so I get why they removed it. But at the same time, I think it looks really nice. And I'm hopeful that in the future, either me or other modders are going to be able to restore this to the game in some capacity. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I know this is just a very unscripted video. I wanted to produce this as fast as possible because I thought these findings were really cool. And I'm sorry if this video meanders and, and kind of rants a little bit. This has been Christopher Beast. If you enjoy my content, I always appreciate your comments, likes, and subscribes. They help the channel out. If you want to talk to me or others about Signalis lore, Signalis stuff, stuff like this, uh, my Discord VSL is linked below. I often will be in VSL VCs when I find stuff like this. So if you want an early check out of this stuff and be able to talk about it when I find it, it most likely will happen in a VSL VC. With that all out of the way, this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope to see you all next time. Thank you.